Hi guys, Knife Detector here, and this is going to be another one of my quickie, quickie videos. As you guys know, my regular time slot is uh, Friday morning starting at 12 a.m. and Monday morning starting at 12 a.m. I have a video that I'd like to put out for you guys during those times. But uh, when I make a quickie video, it's something that comes out in between those times. And usually my quickie videos don't last longer than about five minutes. So, okay, like to see it? Here it goes. So what we have here, guys, is an oldie but a goodie. Uh, this is a survivor, and I'd say that this old toothpick-style knife is probably from the 1970s. 60s, 70s would be my best guess, and it is a saber. Look at the sleek lines on this knife right here. Uh, one of the nice characteristics of those toothpick-style knives is that the ergonomics of this handle just lend itself to just get cradled in your fingers when you hold on to it. I'll take a look at that in a little bit. Notice this does have some corrosion, some scratches. This thing was way worse off, but I did as much cleaning as I could on it without wanting to mess it up too badly. Um, it came in a knife lot that I paid about 30 bucks for a while back. Let's see if it has snap. It has a mid-stop. Light snap, open, mid-stop. A little bit of a snap closed. Uh, as you can see, this has that type of, uh, it's almost like a clamshell type construction where it's got these little clips that clip onto this, uh, clip onto the, the liners from this uh, clamshell type handle. This part in here is usually hollow. And we have I, what I think is some type of a celluloid cover that goes on top of here. A lot of times these might wear off and you see the exposed metal on some of these. You have some brass liners that I can see in there too. Uh, that are barely visible. But uh, this knife has had some serious sharpening. Let's see how long it is. This knife is about, ooh, about five inches long, almost, well, like right on the dot, five inches long. And it's real slick and real thin. These things, you slip it in your pocket, you, you kind of forget it's there. It's super light too. We'll check and see how uh, light it is in a bit. This is a Sabre brand. It's a Sabre brand knife. And this is made in China. So back then, this was a knife made in China from, I think, back in the 60s or 70s. And uh, it's a pretty decent little knife. I mean, it's not uh, going to win any beauty contest, that's for sure. It's got a lot of extensive sharpening to it. Let's see how much it weighs. What do you say? What do you say? And let's see how I'm doing on time. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good on time. All right. This scale is set to ounces. And let's see, this weighs, or am I seeing this correctly? This weighs two ounces on the friggin' dot. This is a two ounce knife. That's how much this weighs. This knife weighs two friggin' ounces. It weighs close to nothing, guys. So having this in your pocket really would not take up a lot of real estate. And it also would not weigh your pants down and you don't have to worry about your shorts falling down uh, if you're out there on the boat uh, trying to to uh, fillet a fish or something with this beauty. And uh, on that subject, is this beauty sharp? Well, somebody has sharpened it extensively. Notice how it's got a very thin blade on it that kind of lends itself to just cut through things with greater ease. Let's see, got this little paper here. Oh, you can get off to a good start on that one. Yep, there it goes, see? There it goes. Oh, I hear my cat in the background, Tommy. Tommy is a little bit hungry, I think, but now nah, I just fed him. It can't be that. Gotta be something else. Maybe he wants to come out in the video. Hmm. Yeah, so this is a sharp knife. And uh, I did a little bit of polishing on it. Uh, not too much because of those scratches, trying to get some of those scratches off, but they're just too deep. It was a little bit dull when I got it, but. Uh, after some passes on my easy lap uh, rod, this thing just it just came back like no problem. So this is a very sharp knife. Anyway, I'm not going to make this a keeper. This is going to go in my my uh, briefcase full of junk knives that I'm going to use as giveaways. So one of you guys might end up with this bad boy in the future. Y'all take care. This has been another quickie by the knife detector. God bless my friends.